Are you wondering how to start learning to edit videos? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your very first video by yourself, even if you have no editing skills or experience. Hi everybody, this is Roman Grant here from Empire Vid. This channel is dedicated to giving people that have no experience the resources to create their very own content for business and personal use. Be sure to subscribe if you like this kind of video and you want to see more of them. Now let's get into the video. Now, if you're thinking about learning this new skill, let me tell you that there are so many great reasons to start learning to edit videos for yourself. I have a short series dedicated to this topic, so be sure to check that out. I'll link it out in the description. Now, when I first started, I knew absolutely nothing about video editing, but I needed to create some product videos for an e-commerce business that I was launching. I was stuck because I didn't have a lot of spare time to learn an advanced editing program. Luckily, I discovered a very effective and user-friendly online video editor called InVideo. Within 20 minutes, I was creating my very first complete video with music, graphics, transitions, and a great looking intro and outro. After that, I quickly learned more techniques that brought my videos to a level I didn't think was possible and I was producing more and more content very quickly. And it was all possible within video. So there's a link in the description down below if you want uh, to get 50% off one of their paid plans. They also offer a free plan if you just want to try it out. Now let's head over to InVideo and start creating our very first video. So the first thing is you'll want to use Google Chrome because that is the browser that InVideo was designed to work best on. I've had issues in the past with certain features when trying to use a different browser, so to avoid all of that, use Chrome. Now the first thing you'll want to do is create a free account. All you need is your first name, email address, and phone number. If you don't want to give up your phone number, just put in any 10 digits. I'm not going to show you how to create an account because it's pretty self-explanatory. If you want to upgrade to a paid plan, I suggest you start off with the business plan. It will give you everything you need to get started at the cheapest price. Also, it's cheapest if you go for the yearly plan, but you have to pay for the whole year up front. The difference between the paid plan and the free plan is that if you pay, you have access to the premium stock photos and video footage. With the free plan, you will have limited access to the photos and videos. Also, for the free plan, there will be a watermark placed in all of your videos until you upgrade. For the purposes of this video, we are going to use one of the many great templates provided for free by InVideo. All of the templates are completely customizable. You can create presets by uploading your own logo and choosing certain colors as your brand colors. This will apply these presets to all of your future projects. But don't worry if you don't have a brand or a logo because you don't need them. You can choose your colors as you go or use those that come with the templates. Now I've got a template in mind. I'm going to type vlogging and pull up the templates and here it is. So once you pull it up and do this preview mode, it's going to start playing. So let's go ahead and watch it. As you can see, there's music playing in the background that is already added on there. Now, as you can see, the templates are already really high quality. And so all you have to do is put in your colors, put maybe change uh, some of the videos or graphics around and put your own text in and you've got a completely customized video. Now you've got the wide for the YouTube, you've got tall for stories, Instagram and Facebook, and then you've got the square for the Instagram and Facebook feeds. I'm going to go ahead and choose the wide version. It'll take a little bit of time to load, not long at all. So now we're in the actual editing platform. This is where you will be making all of your edits. This is where you will access everything that NVIDIA has to offer. So the middle here is the actual display of your video. It's what your final product is looking like. On the right is the actual layers of the scene that you are working on. On the left here is where you're going to find all of your royalty-free stock videos, images, music, uh, different types of text you wanna use, 
all of the different media that you can access if you uploaded any logos or, uh, or your own video footage, you will access that over here. Now here at the bottom is your timeline, and these are the individual scenes that you can navigate and edit. To begin, select the scene that you want to edit. It's a drag and drop format, which makes it very user friendly. There are two timeline views. There is the basic and then there's the advanced. For this tutorial, we are going to just use the basic timeline. I'm going to start with the first scene. I've uploaded my logo, so it's automatically applied to each scene with my brand colors. Now you can always just use the colors that come with the individual template. As you can see, my logo was a little small, so I just resized it. Very easy to do. That's how you resize any media that you insert into your video. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this first scenes video. I want to choose something that has to do with video editing. So I'm going to type that in here to the search bar. As you can see, there are a lot of different videos that you can uh, select from, different video clips that they offer for free and uh, if, for any topic that you want. And then you just put it over here. I'm going to click replace. You can also add it as a new layer, which is a little bit more advanced. But for this, we're going to replace it. And then this is where you can actually trim the clip because the clip will be a certain um, amount of time and you might only want, you know, certain, uh, you know, a couple of seconds. So I actually just need five seconds because that's what each of the scenes are for this template. So I'm going to shorten it up here. Now to do it a little bit faster, if you know how long you want your scenes to be, you can just type them in down here at the bottom. Go ahead and uh, click done. That'll insert the scene for you. And now you can see that you have a brand new scene um, that you are now working with. Now what I want to do is I want to edit the text because I want to use my own text. So I'm gonna go ahead and all you have to do is click inside the text box and edit it just like you would if you were in any other kind of graphics editing program. Very simple. Now, if you look at the right at the layer, it's actually editing from over there as well. So if you wanted to, you could just uh, go click over into that little text box and you can edit it right from there. Sometimes people feel that's easier. You can also edit the different styles of the text, uh, color, um, font, all of that good stuff. Okay, so I want to just go ahead and adjust the text size a little bit. Um, kind of center it up with the box behind it. And then I'm going to go ahead and change the color of the text so that it matches my brand better. And then after that, I want to adjust the opacity of the box behind the text. Very simple to do. All you have to do is go over to the layer. Maybe you have to unlock it. And after that, you can adjust it by moving this little lever or typing in the percentage you want. Okay, now that I've finished this scene, I'm going to go ahead and play it one time through just to preview it. This right here is the music track if you'd like to edit that. And then over here, you can play one single scene or if, if you press this button, you can play all of the scenes. And then this button over here is you just um, navigate to the next scene. I'm going to go ahead and change the music track, switch it up to something different. As you can see, they have a lot of different tracks to choose from, different categories, um, and each category has numerous tracks. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this one right here. You can easily adjust which part of the track you want to use. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and edit the rest of this video very quickly and show you the end product.
So now I just want to add a couple more scenes and you just press this button and click duplicate and it will duplicate the scene for you. So now to put the finishing touch, I want to change the default transitions. You click the button between each scene. You can hover over the different transitions. As you can see, there's a lot of them. And then um, you can preview them and then insert them into your video. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for each one of the transitions. Now that I'm done with that, I want to go ahead and preview my final video. Now that we've finished the video and we got what we want, go ahead and click export and it will go ahead and render the video for you. It can take a while so I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead. So this is where all of your projects that you uh, finish are going to be stored so that you can actually save them here and then download them whenever you want. So you can download them if you're at an office or if you're at your home, wherever you're at, you have an internet connection, you can download your videos. So that is one of the great features of NVIDIA. So obviously there's a ton more stuff that we could do. The possibilities are pretty much limitless in this with this program. Um, you will be very happy if you decide to use it, Try give it a try for free or upgrade to the paid plan depending on what your uh, goal is for video editing. But if you are a first time video editor with no editing skills, this is the program that I recommend. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you've learned what a powerful tool in video can be for you even if you have no video editing skills whatsoever. Leave a comment down below and tell me what kind of videos you want to create. Click the link in the description to get 50% off any paid plan at NVIDIA. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed yourself and check out the other videos on my channel for more in-depth tutorials. For now, take care and I'll see you in the next video.